Hey everybody, welcome. This is High C Cindy. I'm High C's Paul. We're High C Cindy and Paul. And today we're making pina coladas barchina style from San Juan, Puerto Rico, the original style. So stay tuned guys. We're going to show you how to do it real quick. Thank you. Cindy's going to be working the camera, so I'm going to be working the drinks today. Today we're going to start off with a fresh pineapple. I would highly recommend if you can find one that's ripe all the way through, that smells really ripe and just has a general soft feel. Unfortunately, the best I can find is this half ripe and semi close to being ripe. Another way people do it is they kind of do this little test like this, but to me, I do it by smell and by taste. And this one's pretty close, but when you're doing a pina colada pineapple style, you want to do it as ripe as possible. That way it is as sweet as possible and you can get as much sweet pineapple flavor as possible. Stay tuned guys, I'm going to get into this pineapple right now. I'm going to get into this cutting of this pineapple and this is the base of this pina colada. There's two styles of pina colada. There's a heavy coconut style, there's a heavy pineapple style. For me, when I went to San Juan, Puerto Rico for the very first time and had one at Barchina, they give you a sample with no alcohol and when they have it in the slurpee machines there and the frozen machines, they don't have any alcohol in it and all you taste is pineapple. It's probably 90% pineapple base with maybe 10% of a coconut cream just to smooth it out and balance out the flavors. So what you want to do is you want to take your as ripe as possible pineapple. This one like I said is about half ripe ready to go. You just want to cut the top off. Discard this unless you want to use some kind of decoration there. Want to kind of get as much of the bottom base off as possible. I would consider this one a small pineapple. Um, I cut one up earlier. I put it in the freezer about three hours ago. I would highly recommend maybe doing it the night before and let it be in the freezer, you know, for at least 24 hours. But I had mine in there for about two or three hours and that should be plenty, but to get it really frozen, you would probably want to leave it in there overnight. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit and that way you don't have to watch me do the entire process here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off all the eyeballs here and I'll get into the core and I'll get back with you and show you exactly what to do when you get to the core and I'm going to get all these little eyes off right now. Okay, I'll just kind of clean it up the mess here a little bit. That way I don't have anything slippery. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this pineapple into quarters and I'm going to slice out the core so we can get to the golden goodness right in there. So stay with me guys. Looks like all the eyeballs are gone there. Perfect. Now they don't have to be perfect cubes, just maybe bite size. Just so you can get them in the freezer and basically this way you won't have to add so much ice because you want as much pineapple flavor as possible. 
Water will dilute your drink. We want to have a good consistency of smooth pineapple. This is one I did earlier. It's kind of a, it's a small to medium. It was a tiny bit bigger than the one you saw. So I did this one, I put it in the freezer about two hours ago. And like I said, I'd probably recommend doing it overnight. So it'll be as hard and frozen as possible. So you won't have to use that much ice. This is for the most part, pretty frozen. So let's go ahead and load this up. And don't worry guys, I'm gonna put the complete recipe down at the bottom, so don't worry about following along. Just enjoy the video as we go. Grab yourself a beer or a cold drink or whatever you prefer. So let's load these up. Got our pineapple base here. And we're not gonna add any rum at all. We're gonna add the, the way they do it at Barcina is they put a shot down on the bottom and then they put a floater on the top. That way it mixes in better. Okay, and next guys, we're gonna add the coconut cream. Now, most pina coladas are real heavy on this. To me, a refreshing, Pina Colada is a lot of fresh pineapple juice. Let me show you the can here. This is the Coconut Lopez Coconut Cream. Let you get a good look at that. And where did you find that at, Paul? I found it at my local Walmart in the liquor section. I was looking in the baking section, couldn't find it. Well, I strolled over to where all the alcohol was and guess what, there it was. <laughs> so let's go ahead and we're just gonna do two ounces. Normally Pina Coladas are four ounces but we don't want to overload the taste of the pineapple. And the good thing is, is there's enough added sugar and sugar in here, and with the ripe pineapple, it'll balance out all those flavors. Let's go ahead and get two ounces in there. All right, our next step is to add just a little bit of ice here. We've got a lot of pineapple, we've got a little pineapple juice. We don't want to put too much ice in there because if you've noticed that uh, Barcina, they've got it in a, a kind of like a slurpy machine and it just, it's perfectly blended smooth. So we don't want a heavy ice or too much ice in there. So I did pour some pineapple, dull pineapple juice in these little baby ice trays here. And like I said, Unfortunately, it was about two or three hours ago, but they seem pretty hard, so I think this is going to work well to kind of blend everything together. Okay, so we're getting the ice in there. We've got these awesome little penguin and pineapple ice trays here. So I don't think we're going to need them all. So let's go ahead and get the top on this and start the blending process. Blend this up right now and take a look. See if we need to add a little bit more regular ice. And like I said, I do recommend if you are gonna use ice, use crushed ice if you can. So here we go. Ideally, if you can, if you have the time or you have the freezer space, what I would highly recommend is put it back in the freezer for about 20 to 30 minutes if you're trying to make the ultimate consistency of a smooth pina colada. Let everything come together, refreeze, and then blend it up again. But let's take a look and see what we got here. And we'll give it a quick whip and taste. Pretty good, I might add just a couple more ice cubes there. Wow, that's perfect. That is absolutely beautiful. Smooth with a nice pineapple finish. So I'm just gonna add a couple more of these little pineapple ice cubes here and I think we are good to go. And uh, I'll come back with you and show you how we're gonna load this baby up. Stay tuned. All right guys, let's get to the final step here. We've got a beautiful consistency to pour in it's very smooth, no ice chunks. Beautiful pineapple finish. 
So we're going to add a shot in here, down on the bottom. One what ounce kind of on the bottom. Are you using, huh? Pardon? What kind of rum are you using? We are using, you cannot think of San Juan, Puerto Rico without thinking Bacardi rum. We've got a dark Bacardi rum here. That's what they use out there at Barcina. So that's what we're going to use. We're going to do an ounce down on the bottom. We're going to pour in. Perfect. Whoop, got to save a little room for a floater. And then that'll blend in just nicely right there. Whoop, get a little messy there. <laughs> then we just want to add a floater on the top, just like they do out there. Want to get an ounce on the top. Ounce on the top, perfect. And we got some nice garnish here. Got a couple cherries, some fresh pineapple ready to go. Got your umbrella. What kind of cherries are you using, Paul? We're just using regular sweet cherries here. Perfect. Whoop. Got a couple nice straws here. We'll get that mixed up. You want to come have a taste, Cindy? Sure. And I like what we did was the, um, I actually toasted up some Toasted coconut, unsweetened. So I always like to sprinkle a little bit on top of mine. Um, wow. Every sip tastes like vacation, guys. We sure miss vacation, don't we, Paul? Absolutely. So what are we raising our glasses to? Soon. Oh, God, this is good. Yeah, that's <laughs> really good. good. Yeah. Very pineapple-y, very smooth. You don't really notice any coconut. Um, just a nice mellow pineapple finish and you don't even really notice the dark rum so you could actually put more rum in it if you want but it's very smooth very smooth well guys I say we raise our glasses to cruising on the high seas soon and we're getting closer we're getting closer to cruising so thank you everybody for watching and here's to all our high seas friends thank you guys That's a good one.